In this video, we'll look at how we can show a timer in our audience display so that we can include timers in our presentation. Let's get started. If I wanted to show it in my actual presentation, we can also do that. So say a countdown timer for church. Let's go into this slide and edit it. What we do in here, if we click the plus, you'll notice there's no timer or anything like that. So what we actually need to do is create some text and we're gonna link that text to our timer. So this is our text box that we have here. Remember, you can go plus text if you don't have a text box. And when we select our text box over in the text panel, we're gonna come down and we're gonna choose linked text. So that's sort of saying, where do we get our text from? We're not typing it in. Where can ProPresenter find the text we wanna use? And our source is going to be our timer. So you'll notice that this list is very similar to the stage display list. So if you're ever looking for something that's on the stage display for your audience, generally it's found in the linked text and the source. And we're just gonna choose timer and we're gonna choose our church countdown. Again, we're gonna get rid of the hours and the milliseconds. And we might wanna add a trigger in here as well. So let's go with one minute to go. It's going to be red and then we might want to go and add in a nice picture so let's save that go back to show find our media bin and we might want to just go down here let's find something that looks all right in our samples that blue one looks all right if we show this let's just edit it really quickly make this a little bit bigger so we can see it <coughs> show now it's not showing <coughs> why is it not showing because we're on our stage display so we're going to go to screen one our time is there it's really small because i haven't re-clicked my slide after editing it there's my timer but it's not playing so we're on our church countdown and we're going to start our church countdown so now our timer is started 